creating styles and labels. In Civil 3D, most types of object, points, alignments, profiles, and so on, have a style and a label style. Let's learn how to create them, starting with the example of a point style and a point label style. The two names sound similar, but they are two actual different things that we will learn to differentiate. Point styles. In general, most manipulations of styles and settings are done from the Settings tab of the tool space. However, to make the software easier, we will use the Autodesk Civil 3D Prospector and right-click menu. By establishing this habit, we will create a routine that will make it easier to learn the software. As stated before, there are several ways to access Civil 3D's commands. Right-click Menu, Ribbon, Prospector, and the Command Line are the usual options. To create and edit point styles, proceed as follows. Activate the Prospector tab and navigate to the Point Groups section. Then select Underscore All Points and right-click on Properties. On the Information tab of the Point Group Properties window, we have two main boxes, each representing a type of styles. The first one is Object Styles. It controls the appearance of any point object belonging to this point group. The second one is Label Styles. It dictates the appearance of the text associated with the point, including coordinates, description, point numbers, and elevations. In the Point Group Properties window, both types of styles can be created, copied, or edited. Let's create a new point style. Point Object Styles. To create and edit a point object style, from the previous window, create a new style by clicking on the arrow on the right in the Point Style section. Next, click on Create New. Then, on the Information tab, in the Name text box, enter the name of the point style, for example, EG for Existing Ground. Now switch to the Marker tab. For the point style, you can either choose an AutoCAD point for the marker, a custom marker, or a pre-existing AutoCAD block to represent the existing ground. The option of using pre-existing AutoCAD blocks is particularly useful in a situation where we want to choose an existing block from an external AutoCAD file. Case in point, when styles have been created by a client or a permitting agency like a Department of Transportation or a municipality. In that case, we simply pick a style from the list of symbols. After choosing a style, you can go to the Display tab and change the colors, line types, scales, and many other options. For now, click on OK to close the Point Styles Editor. We will see later how to apply the styles. Creating Label Styles Label styles are annotations that allow us to display an object's information. For example, for a survey point, one may be interested in displaying the coordinates, elevation, description, and much more. To practice this, let's create a style that will display the elevation, description, and coordinates of a point. To create a point label style, do the following. Open the Properties window of the point group to which you want to apply a point style. In the window, this time in the Point Label Style section, create a label style that will display elevation, description, and coordinates. The Label Style Composer window will appear with the following tabs. The Information tab which controls general information such as style name, creation date, and authors. The General tab, for some basic label information. The Layout tab, which defines the content of the label's text. The Dragged State tab, which defines the style of the label when dragged from its original location. The Summary tab, which gives a general overview of the different parameters of the style. On the Information tab, name the new style. In general, try to give the style a name that clearly indicates its purpose. For example, we are going to call it EL-DESC-COORD to indicate that this label style will show the point's elevation, description, and coordinates. On the Layout tab, delete the existing data, point number, altitude, and description. We will learn how to recreate them. If a label component you are trying to delete is used by another label, you will receive a warning. For now, ignore potential warnings and click Yes to delete the label components. In the end, we must have an empty layout window without any data. Next, we will recreate a style from scratch. 
To do this, select a text component. Fill in the necessary data such as the name of the new style, text sizes, colors, and so forth. To determine the content of the label, meaning the information that the label will convey to the readers, click on the icon with three small dots on the Contents line. Next, we will add the following parameters, elevation, description, and coordinates. Before we define our label, we need to delete the existing text, or select it and simultaneously click on the horizontal arrow to replace it with the parameter in the Properties drop-down box. We have now defined the elevation component of the label. Next, let's add the point description field of the style definition. Go to the next line after the point elevation component, then select Raw Description in the Properties drop down box and click the arrow to the right to add the description component of the label. The last component to add is the coordinate information. Follow the steps we previously used for the elevation and description to make that happen. First, select Easting in the drop down properties box and click on the arrow to the right. Then select Northing and click the arrow to the right to add the two coordinate elements to the definition of the label. We can further refine the label by using the Format tab. On here, we can change the text style, justification, font, colors, and so forth. Now, click OK three times to close all windows we had to open to get here. Finally, all points in the drawing should appear in accordance with our elevation, description, and coordinates label style.